going to make you guys my version of Porto's favorite and famous um, pastry treat called the guava and cheese strudel. If you guys are not aware, Porto's is a very famous deli bakery over into the LA area in Southern California. It's a Cuban, um, Cuban pastry and deli and the lines can go way out the door but every time we go and visit when we used to live in california it was always always worth the wait so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that my home version and it's absolutely delicious the family loves it all right let's go start off over here i have um phyllo dough it's a puff uh, pastry sheet that's been um cooled off into the refrigerator overnight i have some whip cream cheese but you can use regular cream cheese raw sugar powdered sugar and then the guava paste and then a rolling pin and then also my uh, baking sheet that has my baking mat on it I've already got my oven preheated to 375 degrees this will bake for about 20 to 25 minutes alright so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna open up the the puff pastry dough and then I'm just gonna roll it out and I, I have wax paper couple sheets of wax paper onto my countertop and this is the the working surface that I'm going to use I'm gonna sprinkle um, about maybe a tablespoon of powdered sugar onto it and then roll out my pastry dough and while um, before I do that I'm gonna go get my cream cheese and this one is an 8 ounce uh, whipped cream cheese I like to buy whipped for the family it's just because it's just easier to spread but I'm probably just gonna use about six six ounce and then I'm going to get about four tablespoons of the powdered sugar mix that with the cream cheese so that you have a nice sweet uh, cream cheese consistency and then this is the guava paste and this is about maybe a quarter almost a half a cup probably of uh, guava paste and then I'm gonna set those aside and then work on my um, puff pastry dough okay so I have my flat surface I'm gonna open up my pu uh, puff pastry lay it out and then start rolling it What I did was just I separated it so I have the other half onto another cookie sheet and then I just sprinkled the powdered sugar, cut this in half and puff pastry, pastries are very delicate so okay that's half and then cut this in half okay. and then I'm going to cut this in half. You're trying to get as um, equal sizes as possible, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is the this part, I'm going to try to separate it. So I'm going to try to separate that into that. So we have one, two, three, four. We have four sheets for this part, then just do a little slit like that. I'm just making it for the family so it doesn't have to be perfect. That's going to be a little pretty design. And then you have your guava paste and then your sweet cream cheese mixture. And then you're basically just going to, the top part, the one that you didn't put a slit on, you're just going to put some guava paste into that this is super easy friends this is super easy and so good and you don't want to overfill it because then it's gonna it's gonna seep out but the amount you put it's moving just depends on your taste sweet cream cheese mixture with the powdered sugar and again you're just going to put a nice dollop of that on top I forgot to mention that you do need one egg one egg along with like about one teaspoon of water and this is going to be your egg wash my little Danica plays with my baking drawer so I don't I can't find my brush but that's okay um, so we're just gonna put some of that on the edges okay. and 
because the pastry is like really um, really nicely separated I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit on in between the others just to give it that that seal because that's all the egg wash is for is just sealing it so I'm just gonna show you one and then that way and then try to squeeze it in so the 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 edges are being sealed you're gonna get your raw sugar okay so we went ahead and sealed it and yours is gonna look so much prettier than mine but we get your turbinado sugar we sprinkle it on the top and then if I had a brush I'd actually brush it as well before putting the sugar because the egg wash mixture will actually make it nice and um, glossy okay, so I'm just gonna put that there I'm gonna get my baking sheet so got my spatula it comes off easily and then I have my baking sheet and I'm just gonna show you guys you just align that and then you know align it and then put it into your oven for about 20 to 25 minutes 375 degrees all right friends here it is my first batch okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and take this one and take a bite nice and golden brown it's sealed around the edges <laughs> nice background nice lighting okay I'm gonna go ahead and try it so good okay can't wait oh mmm mmm make sure that you let it sit out for like about three four minutes before biting into it because the inside is really hot i hope you guys enjoyed this simple recipe as always thank you guys for visiting a simply simple life mahalo